Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about manners. Believe it or not, there are good manners and there are bad manners. If you aren't sure what manners are, it's the way we behave in life in a way that's either polite or impolite. When you uh show good manners or when you have good manners, you do things around other people that uh, don't annoy them or offend them. Uh, You do things while you're talking or eating or just living your life that are polite and kind and the sorts of things that human beings should do to each other. But there's also bad manners. There's things you do around other people that might annoy them uh, or might make them feel just a little bit aggravated. Now, I should mention something. This is an English lesson about manners but it's also an English lesson about culture. Some of the things that I mention might be good manners here and bad manners in your country. Some things might be bad manners here and are totally fine in your country. So, please remember that this is from the perspective of a Canadian. This is an English lesson about manners but the cultural differences that you'll be seeing are maybe because I live in Canada because I live in North America and you live somewhere else. So, it should be interesting to see whether Some of the things that I think are good manners, maybe you think are bad manners and and vice versa as well. But I'm super excited uh, to have you here for this English lesson about manners. Interrupting. So, interrupting someone when they're talking to someone else is not good manners. That is definitely bad manners. Um there are ways to insert yourself into a conversation. I have a picture here of three adults talking. Sometimes adults do uh interrupt each other a little bit but they might say something like, could I just interrupt for a moment or excuse me, could I just add something to this conversation? Usually when we talk about interrupting, we talk we're talking about children. Children often interrupt their parents when they're having conversations. Maybe at the grocery store, if I'm talking to the cashier, one of my children might interrupt and I might say to my Uh, child, I might say, hey, please don't interrupt when dad is talking to someone else. So, interrupting when someone is talking, never a good idea. And here's a few more pointers on how to interrupt nicely. You could say, um, excuse me, could I just interrupt and ask a question? So, you you simply say that you're interrupting and you start with excuse me or you would say something like, if I could just ask a question here, sorry to interrupt, that would be a great way to actually interrupt in a nice way. Chewing with your mouth open. So, this is another thing. Um, I have to laugh because my own children tell each other not to chew with their mouths open but it is considered impolite. Uh, It is considered bad manners in Canada to chew with your mouth open when you're having a meal. Usually, when you take a bite of food, you chew with your mouth closed. It's quieter. People don't have to hear the sound of food being chewed and this might be different in different parts of the world but certainly, I remember as a parent teaching my kids especially when we were eating somewhere else, teaching my kids not to chew with their mouth open, to chew with their mouth closed when we're at their grandparents or in a restaurant. Just polite and good manners to chew with your mouth closed. So, there are a few things our bodies do (laughs) that make sounds. I'm gonna talk about two of them. Burping is one of them. A burp is when you eat food or for some other reason, you have some gas or air in your stomach and then you burp. It sounds kind of like eh. That's my pretend burp. Uh but a burp is considered maybe bad manners a little bit. It really depends where you do it and how you do it. So, for instance, (laughs) If I'm working out in the field and for some reason I burp, it's probably not a big deal. But if I'm sitting having a meal with Jen's parents and I burp really loudly at the dinner table or at the supper table, uh that would be that would be considered uh bad manners, okay? It's very polite um to kind of do something like burping somewhere where people can't hear you. And again, this might be different in different parts of the world. Um but yeah, that's that's I can't make the sound of a burp but that is what a burp looks like. Uh and then what's next? Um another one that's <laughs> something about uh gas coming out of the other end of your body. So, when you burp, uh air comes out of your mouth. When you fart, when uh someone is farting, 
It means that gas is coming out the other end from down there. Uh this is considered very rude for a couple of reasons. It sounds rude. It's very it's very bad manners to fart around other people. Uh and then of course, it smells. There's a certain odor that comes with farting. So, uh this is something that with our children as well, we encourage them not to <laughs> fart around other people. Sorry, there's a little bit of silliness uh associated with farting in uh especially uh with children. Children think farting is funny and so uh I think I'm giggling a little bit while talking about farting uh because it reminds me of when I was a kid and how kids kind of find farting hilarious. They think it's a very funny thing that people do and if you think about it, it it is a funny thing that we do as human beings but bad manners um to fart around other people. So, it's good manners to use the word please. In fact, um in English, we're often talking about teaching our kids to say please and thank you. When our kids would go visit someone, we would say don't forget to say please when you ask for something and don't forget to say thank you when someone gives you something. So, it's very important especially as a parent that my children learned how to say please when they were asking for something. And it was important to me that my children learn to say thank you when someone helped them or gave them something. So, you'll often hear parents using both words together like teaching your kids to say please and thank you or saying to your kid, don't forget to say please and thank you when you visit your friend. Uh don't forget to thank your friend's parents if they give you a snack or give you a ride somewhere or take you to a restaurant and pay for the food. Make sure you say please when you're asking for something and make sure you say thank you when someone gives you something. Uh just good manners to do that definitely. Tipping. So, this depends on the kind of restaurant you're in and what country you're in. Tipping is the act of giving money at the end of a meal uh that's more than the bill for the restaurant that you've eaten in. So, if you go and the bill is thirty dollars, you might leave a five, ten or fifteen dollar tip. 15 would be a lot for a $30 meal. Usually, it's around 20% I think 15 or 20% but tipping, this might be different depending on what country you're in. In Canada, if you go to a fast food restaurant like McDonald's, you don't tip. Uh if you go to a sit down restaurant, that's the phrase I would use where there's a waiter and they bring you a menu and you order your food and they bring you your food, we generally think uh consider tipping to be good manners. It's just a good idea uh to show your thanks to the server by leaving a tip. Notice I'm using tipping and leaving a tip kind of interchangeably. Tipping is a good idea. Leaving a tip is a good idea. Putting your feet on the table. So, this is a tricky one. I put my feet on my coffee table when I'm sitting in my living room but I don't put my feet on the supper table or dinner table or kitchen table. There's a lot of different names for that table. When I'm in the kitchen, I do not put my feet up on the table ever. That would be very, very bad manners. If I was visiting my sister and I put my feet up on her kitchen table, like if I sat in a chair and put my feet up on her kitchen table, she would she would be very annoyed with me. That would be extremely bad manners but when I'm sitting in a living room, when I'm sitting on a couch watching TV, I often put my feet on the coffee table that we have there. Cutting in line. This is another one where this might have a different yeah, whether this is good or bad manners might depend on where you live. In Canada and generally in North America, you do not cut in line. So, cutting in line is when there's a line of people and you just go in the middle of the line or you try to get to the front of the line. Um lines are very, I'm going to use the word sacred. Lines are very sacred uh in Canada and in the United States. We don't cut in line and there's a few other words for this. You can butt in line or bud in line. Um students at school will often say no budding when people try to get in line in front of them. Um now, I said that cutting in line It does happen in Canada but usually it happens with like teenagers and younger people. Uh if you go to the bank 
you would never cut in line at the bank in Canada. That would just be extremely rude. Uh, you can tell I'm going on and on about how rude it would be but it is my understanding that in different parts of the world things might work a little bit differently. So, it's considered good manners to ask before you take something. I I know this might sound kind of funny but my brother if my brother wanted to borrow my lawnmower he would text me or call me and he would ask, hey, can I borrow your lawnmower? And then I would say yes or no. He wouldn't just come here and take it. That would be considered impolite, bad manners, annoying and rude. Um a lot of times too, it's important for children to ask before they take some money. Sometimes my kids want to buy lunch at school and instead of just taking money from my wallet, they ask. It's considered really good manners to ask before you take something. Saying sorry is considered very polite uh, and good manners. Uh, we use the word sorry a lot in Canada. If I bump into someone at the grocery store, I would say, oh, I'm sorry or I would say sorry. Um if someone was standing at the grocery store in front of something I wanted to buy, I might say, um excuse me, um could I just get in there and grab something? Sorry to bother you. So, saying sorry in various ways is a polite way to make conversation go better. It's just a good idea. Um it sounds kind of funny when I say sorry but I say sorry a lot. I think Canadians say sorry a lot. So, this is one that we kind of talked about just uh, a few seconds ago. Covering your mouth when coughing or sneezing. Again, we used to use our hand when we coughed or when we sneezed. People would be like, ah, too or they would go <coughs> and cough into their hand but we've been told now to use our elbow to cough or sneeze into our elbow. It's a little bit hard for me. I don't think my arm's long enough to do that but it is not um it is very bad manners to just go achoo and just have things fly out of your nose or to just cough with your mouth open without covering. Definitely always a good idea to cover when you are um coughing or sneezing especially during COVID. Uh this one is particular for teachers possibly. Um students sometimes chew gum and uh Chewing gum with your mouth open is bad manners but chewing gum and putting the gum under the seat of the desk or putting the gum under the chair you're sitting in is very very bad manners. This still happens at schools and it happens on park benches or if you sit down in the food court at a mall. If you touch the bottom of the chair, there's probably gum stuck there. But it's considered extremely rude to uh put gum under a chair. I'm just laughing at this man because he looks kind of like a school teacher to me and he's looking under a chair thinking, ah, those students, they just keep putting gum under the chairs. Bad manners. Very, very bad manners. Uh introducing people is good. It's good manners to introduce people. If Jen and I run into someone that I know from the past that Jen doesn't know, Um I will make sure I introduce Jen. I will say, hey, Jim, long time no see. What's it been? Like 10 years? Ah, man, you look great. By the way, this is my wife, Jen. We've been married for 20 whatever years, 26 years, 25. (laughs) I should remember but certainly it would be bad manners if Jen and I were shopping and if I saw an old friend who I haven't seen for 20 years who Jen doesn't know It would be bad manners if I didn't introduce Jen and that person to each other. So, always a good idea to introduce people. (laughs) Picking your nose. I couldn't find a good picture until I thought, oh, I'll find a picture of a child because in English, we would say it grosses me out when I see people pick their nose. Um when you pick your nose, you put your finger up your nose and uh well, I'm not gonna describe it in too much detail but certainly, Um I think a lot of people pick their nose privately. So, people will pick their nose when no one is looking but it is considered bad manners to pick your nose in front of other people. This is another thing that uh, parents often teach their children not to do. You know, don't pick your nose when uh when you're around other people. Actually, don't pick your nose. (laughs) I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. 
It's up to you whether you pick your nose or not. <laughs> Just don't do it in front of a group of people. Greeting visitors. So, when someone comes to visit us, like let's say Jen's parents come for a visit. When we see them drive in, we will go to the front door of our house and open the door and welcome them to our house. We don't just sit at the kitchen table and wait for them to come in. When we have visitors, people who don't who we don't see very often, we quite often will greet greeting visitors at the door is a very polite and kind thing to do. So, you can see this family here has guests and they are greeting them at the door. And then the reverse. This isn't the greatest picture of this cuz I think this is happening. When we have guests, when they leave, we see them to the door. It's kind of a weird English phrase, isn't it? When you see someone uh to the door, it means that you walk to the door with them when they leave your house. So, if Jen's parents come and they visit for a few hours and we have a cup of tea and then they say, well, we need to get going. Jen and I will see them to the door. That means we'll walk to the front door of the house with them and they'll put their shoes and jackets on and we'll just talk in the entrance way for a little bit before they leave. Definitely good manners to greet someone at the door and see someone to the door when they visit. And then here's another one that's uh, possibly North American but possibly not. It's considered polite to knock. Knocking before entering someone's house is very very polite. It's a good manners. Ringing the doorbell, knocking, both count as the same type of activity but it's considered rude to just walk into someone's house. So, let me clarify a little bit. When we when I visit my sister, I usually walk straight into her house. But when I visit friends, I knock or ring the doorbell when I get there. I think it depends on how well you know the person. But let me think this through. When we visit Jen's parents, yeah, I no, we don't knock. We just walk in. But when we visit my friends, we always knock. So, it definitely depends on how well you know someone whether you knock or ring the doorbell or not. Um so, it's considered good manners to say excuse me before asking someone a question. The perfect example for this would be if you're lost and asking for directions, you would say excuse me. Could you tell me how to get to the museum? Excuse me. Do you have change for a five dollar bill? Excuse me. Could you tell me where to find um the town hall? <laughs> I, I'm having trouble thinking of examples but um when you ask a question and you say excuse me before you ask it, it makes the question sound a lot more polite and it's definitely good manners. Uh this is definitely not polite. <laughs> this is something that we discourage in our house but sometimes it's hard. Using your phone at dinner or using your phone especially in a restaurant while you're eating with other people can be considered bad manners. It really depends. When my brothers and sisters go out to eat, when we go to a restaurant which we haven't done for three years, when we go out to eat, we usually just turn the ringers off on our phones and leave them in our pockets. Um when you're visiting with people, it can be impolite. It can be bad manners to be on your phone all the time. Washing your hands before eating. So, this is more of a custom but it's also considered good manners. Um when you are out and about in the world, depending on what you do, your hands tend to get dirty and it's just a really good idea to wash your hands before you eat. This is something we have tried to teach our children to do and they do it 99% of the time. It's especially important right now during COVID. You should always make sure that you wash your hands before you eat. It's just a good practice. It's sanitary and it's definitely good manners as well. Holding doors for others. So, this is an interesting one because this is changing a little bit. So, holding a door for someone is considered polite. I still consider it polite. If I'm walking into a building and someone is walking behind me, 
I will often open the door and hold it for them when they go in. Man or woman, okay? Um I think though that this is changing a little bit because people sometimes feel like I don't know. Let me just put it this way. I'm 50 years old. I still think it's very polite to hold a door for someone. If I'm leaving a building and someone is leaving right behind me, I will hold the door for them for a little bit because doors close automatically on buildings. So, if there's someone right behind me, I don't wanna walk out and have the door kind of swing as they're coming out. So, I just take a second to hold the door for them. Not commenting on looks. So, this is a tricky one. When someone gets a haircut and you think it looks good, it's very kind and polite to say, hey, your new haircut looks great um, or that shirt looks good on you. But when you think someone's haircut doesn't look good or you think the shirt they're wearing is ugly, it's very, very rude to say that. I would say to someone, your new haircut looks really good. I would say to someone, your new shirt looks great. If someone got a haircut though and it didn't look, I would not say to them, your haircut looks awful. I would consider that bad manners. Um even though sometimes it's good to be honest, I wouldn't say that. If someone was wearing a shirt that was like just didn't look good, I wouldn't say that to them. Um so, commenting on looks can go both ways. If it's a positive comment, I think that's okay. But uh, if it's a negative comment, yeah, I think that would be bad manners. Especially if you did it repeatedly. But borrowing without returning. So, when you borrow something, it means you do not have that thing and you go and ask someone else if you can use theirs. You borrow theirs. The most common thing I think that people borrow um would be other people's tools. So, when you borrow something, it is very bad manners to not return it. Um I've had people in the past borrow things from me um and then days, weeks, months go by and they haven't returned it. It's very, very rude. It is definitely considered bad manners to borrow something and then not return it or even keep it for a long time. Uh, If you borrow something, you should always bring it back to the person who you borrowed it from. Writing thank you notes is considered very polite and very kind especially after um like a significant event. So, if you get married and people give you wedding gifts, you should send them thank you notes. You should write a little note that says, thank you for the barbecue. It was great. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming to my wedding. Um We don't normally do it after birthdays. Like, I don't send thank you notes after a birthday party but uh after something significant um like if I had if I had a party, if Jen and I had an anniversary party um and people gave us gifts, I would send them a thank you note afterwards. Talking during a movie. So, we talked about talking loudly and I think I mentioned this a little bit. Talking during a movie is just incredibly bad manners. When people go to see a movie, they want to enjoy the show. They want to enjoy what they're watching. Part of that enjoyment is being able to hear it. So, talking during a movie, having your phone on and glowing during a movie is also I think bad manners um and certainly you can see in this picture, these two guys are annoyed because the people sitting a few rows back are talking during a movie. Not a very nice thing to do. Apologizing is considered um a good thing to do and I this is kind of a duplicate. We talked about saying sorry. Um when you bump into someone, you should say I'm sorry. Um when you um yeah, that's probably the best example. When you're at the grocery store and you accidentally bump into someone, you know what bumping is, right? When you you turn and you hit someone by accident, you should definitely say I'm sorry to them. Swearing is never a good idea. So, the other day, someone in the comments asked if I ever swear, uh, if I ever use bad words uh, and I said, I forget my exact reply but here's my reply. Uh, Yes, sometimes. When the classic is if you hit your thumb with a hammer. When I'm working on the farm, it's a very physical job and sometimes, you know, you're you're working on things where you you 
bang your knuckles against something like my microphone and then a swear word might come out. I do swear occasionally but generally I do not swear very much at all. I think because I'm a parent and I don't wanna swear in front of my children and also because I've spent a lot of time in a school. Teachers cannot swear. It's just you just don't swear around uh, kids. Um it's just not part of how I talk. Um some people do swear more but I definitely don't swear very much but it I consider it bad manners to swear. Um I think when you are with friends and everyone uses swear words. It can be cool for younger people to swear but generally when if I was at the bank and the person in front of me started swearing, that would be considered very bad manners indeed. And we have something called table manners which I wanted to talk about just for a minute or two. So, table manners are things like you put your napkin on your lap and you have utensils or cutlery Um like forks, knives and spoons in a certain order and you're supposed to use I think you go from the outside in. Use the smallest fork for your salad and the bigger fork for your main meal and when you're done you're supposed to put I don't know all the rules. I don't know all. I think in North America we have less table manners than we used to. Um I do know that it's not polite to uh chew with your mouth open. I do know that when there's when I'm at a fancy dinner like at a wedding and there's multiple pieces of cutlery, I almost always have to ask which fork am I supposed to use first because I don't always know uh what to do but uh yes, table manners I think depending on what country you live in, there are different levels and it's considered at a table to be it's considered to be bad manners to reach. You're it's better to ask someone to pass someone or pass something to you. So, you can see this person is reaching for it looks like the butter or a cup or something like that. Can't quite see in the picture. It's good manners to ask people to pass things. Could you please pass the potatoes? Could you please pass the bread? Could you please pass the milk? Instead of reaching past someone and grabbing it, that's considered bad manners. So, if you are ever at a dinner Bob the Canadian doesn't really know all of the rules for uh the table manners that we would use uh but certainly um put the napkin on your lap. Don't reach across in front of other people to grab things. Uh be kind and polite and don't uh, don't chew with your mouth open and certainly don't put your feet don't put your feet on the table especially at supper time. That would be a really bad idea. 